everybody and welcome this is Beck. so today i'll be doing the warm and cozy kit from status paper co i love it so much so this is the winter box the winter season box and this is the free sheet that you got you also got um noted which is a sticky notepad then you we got some um of these cute little cozy die cuts which is super cute. Then we have um, the um, decal, which is take it, um, take life one cup at a time. Then we have some warm and cozy add-on deco stickers. Then we have some warm and cozy boxes. And next one. There's some more um, Pandora's Warm and Cozy um, deco stickers as well. Then we have the Winter Holidays for 2020, which is Queen's Birthday, World Environment Day, um, World Oceans Day, Take Your Dog for a Walk Day, Dry July, Nadoc Week, National Pajama Day, um, crazy Hair Day, Jeans for Jeans Day, and Red Nose Day, Book Week, RSPCA Cupcake Day, Daffodil Day, and COVID um, restrictions lifted. Yay to that one. Um, and this is the Winter Self Care, which is super cool. And this is the gorgeous kit. I love it kit so much. They're so jam-packed with everything that you could possibly need and more. So we've got the deco boxes here, then we've got a little um, checklist, some more checklists here, some half and quarter boxes. These are super cute, they're like little sticky note ones. And we have eat it, drink up, um, watch this, bills suck, uh, don't be late, busy with make time for and pencil it in buy these clean this and don't forget then we have so pick up a finger uh some of the to do's little things and next week important some little flags habit trackers um some more script and icons so the thin and thick washi strips and the days of the week and the dates and yeah back to the start so let's get started so this we're currently in the first week of the kids school holidays i was super duper excited about the school holidays that the restrictions are lifted and that we'll finally be able to start to do something and then my son comes down with a cold <laughs> i'm like seriously so obviously we have to get a coronavirus test he had to go get a covid test came back negative which is awesome which we already knew that it would be negative, but it's just good um, for it to come back. And he's got the rhinovirus, which is just like a, a general cold. And he is um, on the mend, so which is awesome. But it means that we are on um, the first week of the school holidays with practically a write-off because we're following the the health health advice by the state and if you're not well it's probably by the whole country if you're not well stay at home and that is exactly what we're doing we know that we're um we don't have coronavirus but well he doesn't have coronavirus but um you still don't want to spread unwanted germs around or I don't want him to pick up uh, another a secondary infection on top of it which makes him even more sick so I'm just popping the bottom washi strip down here so 
So at the top, what we will do is I'm going to put the days of the week right at the top. And I'll start from right up here. I always struggle with this when I go right up here because I can never line them up correctly. <laughs> so we'll hope for the best of me lining them up better today. Um, I've got my kids in the lounge room watching TV while I have some me time and cut and do my next week's spread. So um, the 19th of July is my birthday. So with the kids will be back, it's, which is a Sunday. So I'm excited that it, we'll be able to do something as a family. My husband and my son's birthdays was both smack bang in the middle of COVID restrictions. Oh, well, actually, my um, two, three of my son's birthdays and my husband's birthday were all smack bang in the middle of COVID restrictions. <laughs> Poor guys. Have us, um, they had COVID birthdays. So, but um, my birthday, the restrictions have been lifted. Yay! Just super exciting. It sucks for my son though, because he had his 18th birthday party. 18th birthday in COVID restrictions. We were going to have this massive big party for him. But, and we could have had 20 people over, but you know what, we've got a massive family. So not even all the family would have been able to come. So we just decided to wait and he can have a awesome, fantastic 21st birthday instead. That will throw for him. And that way he's got her more of a slurby of age and she can have fun and drink as well. Because at the moment she's at, she doesn't turn 18 until November. So yeah, but at least she's not going to have a COVID birthday. <laughs> well, if all goes to plan, she won't have a COVID birthday. So we'll just finish sticking these down. I'm so excited. My new planner is on its way. It, it's I paid express shipping and it Australia Post says it should be here tomorrow which I'm so excited about I got the Whistle and Birch um, study layout for my social media and PR talking about PR roles I'm super duper excited to announce that I have been selected to be um, Pretty Planner Studios um, winter PR team. Um, so I'm her, one of her PR reps, brand reps. So there is, um, three, um, uh, sorry, there's five brand reps and three, um, five brand reps and three, uh, and two, sorry, Associates, associates um, are the beginners, and they we are help um, the and the PR ladies um, help them fine tune their planning style. So, um, and with Karen's help, build up their planning style to become um, PRs in the future, which is super exciting. So, I would do these at the top here. So, Monday we were able to do something fun because my son didn't start getting sick. He had a tingly throat on Monday. 
but he also say, also has allergies as well so that's one of one sign of his allergies so I wasn't overly concerned and we just went on with our day because um a tingly throat for him is kind of like could be just something in the air kind of thing so we just um went on and we just we just went to our local park and the kids went bike riding and stuff like that so today we we're meant to go down to my mum's which is at the gold coast and we're going to have lunch with her down there and have some fun but unfortunately that has been postponed for next week let's hope everybody is healthy so that way we can do that next week So these are the drink ups I need to, these are really good because I need to actually track my, um, my liquid intake. So just super glue. So I'll pop that across there. And then I'm going to. Perfect. So now what I'm going to do is I will put down these headers up here. So we'll do uh, today. Hmm. My toddler is sleeping. Like a good boy, which is super good. Just realized I haven't lined these ones up perfectly, so what I'll do is I'll move everything over a little bit. So to make up for not being able to go anywhere today, I got Uber Eats for my kids and a Hungry Jacks for them. And they thought it was their Christmas all came at once. And we also, I also let them have Sprite, which they usually... Oops, sorry about that. I just realised that I was yapping away and then it, it actually um, stopped like when I was halfway through it so you didn't miss much I was just sticking these down and lining them all up just to put this on straight luckily I realized before I got too far into the plan with me it would have been a waste which would have been very disappointing for me. So we'll get started with the rest of these checklists. So sticking these down here. My um, son is super disappointed because he had last week because of the football. We um, because of the coronavirus, the football has changed the time. So they're now 15 minutes earlier. So last week, my husband and because of the football, they've got a rule countrywide that there's only there was only allowed to have um only one parent no siblings at the actual um at the actual training session so which means that my husband didn't finish work early sorry about that finding kids um so yeah, so last week my husband couldn't finish work early enough, so unfortunately he had to miss um, football. And this week he's sick, so 
which is even more disappointing for him. So we'll put these down here, little half boxes. Seriously, I love these half boxes. They are the cutest little sticky note half boxes ever. And they also came in and said they're hungry as well. Here we go. No. So now we get started with the other one. This one here. And then I'm going to do I want to do the other sticky note on there even though it doesn't fit the pattern. Perfect. Got a really annoying buzzing around fly buzzing around me. It's frustrating. I can hear it just buzzing and I'm not sure if it's going in amongst the the camera sometimes either. It's just I hate flies. Can't remember what I was saying now. Um kid is super cute. The little cat. Which I'll put here. This one So we've had to get a, a lot of new th um, appliances and things recently. So we've gotten, um, so we got a new washing machine and then we got a new, um, because our other old washing machine was on its way out and it was getting way too small. It's like only with five kids. 9.5 kilo washing machine just was making it really it was just really hard so I um so we bit the bullet and we got a new one which I love it so much it was so hard to get because and amongst the coronavirus it was like um nowhere had stock in so I was lucky enough to I found the washing machine I wanted then I literally called our local better electrical and they literally had just the one in stock I was so excited it was an accident that they even had it his boss said um, that they weren't allowed to sell for stock because they had no other stock to replace it but 
I just basically begged <laughs> for them to give it to me and they did. It was so exciting. And delivery was free because they had, um, they, they're not, they just dropped it off in the garage and off they went, which was okay. Because our laundry is in the garage. So we would do eat it now. I'll do little things up the top, I think. That's what I'll do. I'm so excited about being accepted in as PR at Pretty Planner Studios. I really am. I, after leaving, uh, I left LaBelle to try for Pretty Planner Studio. Um, I left LaBelle just purely because... Um, I wanted to try something new. I had been with LaBelle stickers for nine months. So it was just like, you know what? I'm going to try something new. Um, so glad I did um, try out for um, Pretty Planner Studios. I've always loved Karen's stickers. They're, uh, she does such wonderful work. So makes it even more exciting to um rep for her i always love labelle stickers though because teresa's awesome also and i always buy their stickers but i just wanted to dip my toes in waters elsewhere and because i'm still catching up on everything from covid I didn't want to over, overwhelm myself with too many rolls, so I've only taken, so I only wanted to have one roll at a time so I can throw every, all my might into this. So I can give Karen all of me. Which I'm super excited about. There we go. I'm loving this kit, it's so awesome. Yes, it's um I would like it to be a little bit less pastely, but that's like literally the least like such a little minor thing really at the end of the day because it's just such a beautiful kit. So we're gonna eat it. So we'll pop eat it all along here. My son has cough. He has asthma. Swarm with the cold. The annoying fly, I swear. Sorry. I got my daughter to bring in the fly spray before, and I, because that fly was just driving me nuts. It disappeared for a while and I'm like, hey, it's gone. But no, it didn't. It was just hiding. So after I finish this, I'll show you the layout that I've decided that I'm getting. And super excited about it. This is the layout. Because I've got the, um, so this is, I used a hobo kit. 
which is super cool. I'll just cover up the writing. Um, so which I really like the way it is. I love the fact that I can use a hobo kit in here as well. And I'll show you the blank pages. So you can see the layout properly. There we go. That's it. Isn't it awesome? I love it. So this will be my social media and um, that is my social media and um, PR layer. So the planner itself is coming next week, which I'm super duper excited. Um, this, sorry, it's coming tomorrow, which I'm super excited about. So I'm going to do a little bit of a zigzag because next week is going to be so Monday. Watch this. Um, get moving because every second day we do something fun. So. So I'll put get moving on the days that we're doing something fun. And that can mean just going simply with that way. Because on Monday we did picnic and things like that. So uh, and the bike ride. So that's what I mean just by doing something simple and easy like that. And Thursday we're going, hopefully if everything goes to plan going down to visit my mum. The Gold Coast. Super cool. If you watch this on Friday. Just the kids usually like to watch a movie. And then Saturday we'll do get moving. And then we'll do watch this. Perfecto. So now, and on the A, which is. Wednesday. I can't be late because that is we're going out for a um, catching up with my friends and which I haven't done for ages so I'm super excited about and then We'll do Bill Slack because I've got a bill on Thursday. There we go. That's so great. So then I'm going to stick in the other boxes there. I'm going to stick these um, half boxes, I mean, quarter boxes down. Are we going to the toast today? Uh, yes. There we go. So now these other boxes I'll stick um, a quarter box in there, I think. Just trying to think what I've got planned for next week. So we'll just pop these down here. So I could put anything extra. Oh, 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 my oh, God. Okay.
I like these sculpt boxes. They're super cute. So a show that I'm watching at the moment, which I'm loving, is Heartland. It's really just a beautiful, happy, no drama llama type show. Well, it's got drama in it, but you know what I mean. Like, it's not hard show to watch. I can watch it really easily. And I can watch it with my toddler because he likes watching the horses. Um a great show to watch because I usually like watching like the sinner and those types of shows where um, they're a little bit more oh my god but this show I'm just loving it actually it's just such a beautiful show um, so Oh, no one's out there. I've got a, I've got, I've got to stick down football sticker. Wednesday. Perfect. And now do the weekly clean sticker. Then I'll do a little strip to separate. Like so. Then I'm going to do a deco box. Like so. Perfect. And now, where are the checklists? This week, then we'll do next week. Now, what I'm going to do is I will put a strip down. And we'll do clean these.
perfect. There we go. So that is it. So now I just have to do the weekend banner. weekend perfect then I will do the what ones do you think I should do this week cook your own favorite comfort food complete random act of kindness spend time outside well definitely going to do that on Thursday Spend some time outside and I have to go back and stick these set your winter goals back in the beginning of June and enjoy your favourite hot drink. So I'm gonna do that on Monday. And I'll see and I'll stick the rest of these in as the weeks go on. And I'll have to go through and look at what days these are on and I'll have to go back and stick them on there as days as well. We'll do the date dots now. I am really liking this kit, it's so cute. So I'll fast forward through this section because, well, you don't need to watch this long, tedious part. Perfect. So now I get to keep these leftovers to use in my other um, my study layout because these awesome leftovers would make like these for example would go awesome in um, the it would get, they would get awesome in this section here. So that's what I'll use those for, which I'm super excited about. Seriously loving. Um, I seriously love, I love playing with Stella's Paper Play stuff. It's absolutely gorgeous. So thank you so much for watching. Um, please subscribe and give me a big, wonderful thumbs up. Hopefully you have a lovely week. Bye.